Everybody able to see my screen? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. So today I'm going to start the collection part. So let me show you. Let me first of all create a new class for that purpose. New. And first of all, let me class and I will say C O L L E C T I S collections. Then. So now, first of all, the question is that what is the use of collection? We have already, uh, you can say, learned a form of collection that is not actually collection. Uh, record. Sorry. Sorry, anybody is saying anything? Okay. So uh, now, uh, the thing is that we have already learned a concept of array. Anybody know what is the limitation of the array? I told you, whenever we want to store the five elements, we create array something like that. A R R. So how we declare the array? If you want to store the four element, how we can store the array? Declare the array? Yes. Yeah, int and at the left side also we use a symbol that is called a square bracket. So we declare this array in this way. Okay, so now when we are declaring the array in this way, what do you mean by this one? That we are, we have, or we are trying to create an array of integer type and this array, which is referenced by a reference variable ARR, which will actually store or can store four integer elements. Is it okay? What is the purpose of this array that I want to create a, I want to store four integer type elements and, and for that purpose, we have created this ARR. Is it okay? And what was the limitation here? If you want to use this array, if you want to use this array, it means if you want to assign some value. For example, I assign some value zero in the zero index. So I'm storing two. When I want to store a r r one, I will be able to store yes or no. Yes. Yes. Now I'm I'm trying to store the third. You can say, and this one six, and then I will store a r r and indexing. I'm going to use three. Now when I will save it eight. I will try to run it and just see it is working fine or not. So let me try to run it. There is no error. Okay. But now if I will try to do a R R four, what will happen? Exceptional error. Yes. It will throw the exception just here. And what was the reason? Reason is that at what happens that when it is start execution at line number seven, and when the execution or control will be at line number seven, what will happen in the memory? It will create an array of size four. By default, it will create a array of size four and reference variable ARR is going to point that. Now, the thing is that it means whenever you are trying to store some value in first index, yes, second, yes, third, fourth, yes. But if you are trying to store some value index four, that is out of the range, yes or no? So it will throw array index order. getting my point this point is clear yes, yes yes so now the thing is that one thing is introduced in java that if anybody want to use if anybody want to store some value at runtime this is called runtime because what happens this is called your memory allocation is static when the control will come to line number seven it will allocate a memory of four for the array so at runtime, if you want to store some uh, value more than the size, it will create a problem. So to get rid of this problem, a concept comes into the picture that is called collection. The concept aya, a collection picture may aya, and Java created a proper framework for that, and that is called collection. Okay. Now second thing is that what was the second uh, you can say limitation of the array? It was homogeneous. What do you mean by homogeneous? It means if you want to store, suppose you have you want to store the uh, four values, but few you want to store integer, few you want to store the string, few you want to store the float, but you can't because whatever you have declared the type of array, you can only store those type of values. Getting my point? Yes. Okay. So there were two limitations of the array. One is you can say it was homogeneous means it can store only same type of values. And second is that size was static. If you have declared the size, you cannot store the value more than that. Now to get rid of this problem, a framework is introduced that is called collection. So collection is actually, you can say, uh, the basic, uh, you can say, uh, you, know, you can say the use of collection is same that you want to store multiple elements 
with using single reference variable now on now the on the basis of a type of you can say data actually collection is divided into three types list set and map okay now anybody know what is the use of list or it is a algebra it is a concept of algebra or you can say math what do you mean by list or if anybody want to tell you what is the difference between the list and set kisi ko pata hai anybody know ha ji no okay so the thing is that list means list but i have already told you collection means when we are talking about the number of elements okay mm. now the difference is between the list and difference is that suppose i am taking a list so if i am uh, creating a list of uh, some numbers uh, like 2 3 4 again 2 then 5 again 3 comma 6 so here you can say how many elements we have we have a seven yeah we have seven element or in the list what is the thing is that you can store duplicate elements you can say two is coming two times okay. three is also coming two times okay so in list we can store the multiple values and values can be duplicate getting my point yes now the second type of collection is known as set set is also again the thing is that what is the purpose of set to store multiple values but what happens that it stores only the unique values it means if you will try to store the value if you will try to store these value agar aap is value ko store karne ka try bhi karoge but at the end it will save only unique values matlab agar aapne do ko do bar store karne ki koshish bhi ki to isko kitni bar consider karega ek hi bar apne haath automatically it is ended three it will consider only one get it ठीक है, so the purpose of set is to store unique value. तो आप अगर इसमें स्टोर भी करोगे इस कलेक्शन टाइप के, in this type of collection, if you try to store the duplicate value, but itself Java will handle it and it will not store duplicate value. आपको लगेगा आप स्टोर कर रहे हो, but internally ये क्या करेगा उसको eliminate करो. Getting my point? Yes. So now the thing is that I told you that Java is object oriented thing, so collection is also implemented just like a oops concept means collection is also implemented in the form of class so what class is used to uh, store or you can say implement the concept of list that is called array list a r r a y l i s so array list naam ki ek class hoti hai a r r list i am just creating a reference variable equal to new array list okay so now what will happen when you create this array list for the time being you can do one thing don't focus on this part okay or you can see it is giving a alert it is not giving any error but it is giving a alert kya de raha alert array list is a raw type reference to generic type should be parameterized theek hai lekin aapko ab ye kya de raha alert de raha error nahi de raha hai na so you can proceed now when you want to store some elements ye kya kar diya when you just like array when you declare the array aap declare kaise karte ho arrow aise karte ho int then uh, okay there cut yes yes you when you uh, you can say uh, when you declare any integer int uh, bracket uh, then name of the variable and equal to new and uh, uh, new and int uh, and the size of the array okay so yahan pe you declare the size of the array of the declaration in the array list concept we don't declare the size of so we simply declare so it is simpler we have declared the array list jaise aapne yahan pe array list ko declare kiya mm -hmm. In the same way we have declared here array list. दोनों में सिर्फ इतना difference है यहाँ पे आपने size बता दिया और यहाँ पे size <coughs> नहीं बताया. Is it okay? Yes. Okay. Here in the array, how you store the value? You use the concept of indexing something like that arr, and then you give the index zero and whatever value you want to store, just store. यहाँ पे क्या करते हैं? Because it is implemented in the way of classes, तो यहाँ पे store करने के लिए they have given you a function arr array list dot add. तो यहाँ पे देखो ऐड करने का यहाँ पे भी इंडेक्स से ऐड करता है यहाँ पे भी इंडेक्स से ऐड करता है बट हियर यू आर साइनिंग डायरेक्टली एंड हियर यू आर साइनिंग विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ फंक्शन दोनों काम सेम है अगर इसमें आप यू विल स्टोर समथिंग लाइक ऐड फाइव तो ये क्या करेगा जैसे यहाँ पे इट स्टोर एट इंडेक्स जीरो वैल्यू फाइव यहाँ पे भी मेमोरी क्या करेगा एट इंडेक्स जीरो इट विल स्टोर द वैल्यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट 
keyword what is the difference here you are assigning the value directly and here it is giving you a just like a function maine bataya tha agar aapko yaad ho maine primitive and non primitive mein bataya bhi tha when things are represented as a class so this is the main concept of oops to yahan pe collection is presented as a class arl list is a collection of array list aur ye kisse present ho raha hai array list naam ki is class getting my point Yes. So this is the concept of Java that everything should be treated as a class and object. So when we have this class, then this class can have a function that is called add. So how we can call the add method to add the elements? Array list dot. Is it okay? Now if you want to store the next element, how you can store? Array list. <coughs> yes, you can store. Sir, I have doubt. Yeah, tell me. Sir, where is this add function? Yeah, this add function is available in this class. I told you, you know, this array list is. You can see here. This array list is actually a class. So you can see here, add function is here. Okay, let me show you. Yeah, you can see. I'm not able to. Oh, you simply you can go uh, uh, from the internet because in this class it is very tough to find. Okay, but how you can understand that is in the array list. This is the reference variable. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, you can say Ranjita, this is reference variable. So when you uh, say reference dot. So you always try to find the functions and properties. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. So, they go, so it is showing you this method add. It means it is available in the array list class, and you can see the owner here, array list. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So in this, uh, with the help of this add function, you can store multiple elements. I have added six. I have added five. Let me add four new uh, elements like uh, three, and uh, I will do add. I will do. I will add. Let me add here two, and let me again add two, and then let me add six. So how many elements I've added? One, two, three, four, five. Is it okay? Five. So now you'll see. I have not given any size of this collection array, so I can store any element. I can store thousand of element. You will see. I have not given any thing, so I can run. Okay. So what happens whenever you are running in the array? How you print the values? Tell me. How you print the values? let me do one thing let me store the same values in the array so i can show you the difference uh 5 2 3 2 and 6 and how we store the value we store the value with the help of index 1 2 3 and 4 it means this size should be 5 so now just see here there is any difference uh, currently there is any difference in the array and array list no it is also storing the five values and it is also storing the five values yes or no yes so but the thing is that here size is fixed so if you will try to store more than any value it will throw the exception currently you will see it is not throwing any exception so now what is the beauty here when you try to add one element here it will throw the exception but when you try any element here it will not throw any exception because size is not defined fixed. getting my point it is dynamic is it okay okay and how you read the values from the array agar aapko array se koi value read karni hoti thi kaise karte the arr and the index yes or no if i want yes. to read the value of index 1 arr 1 same i will do here only the difference is that i told you this is object this is presented as a class so instead of doing array list dot index something like it contains a function that is called dot get so in get what is it expecting what it is expecting index so index it is same agar yahan pe index 1 denge to what it will return it will return the value which is available in index 1 are you getting my point ab dekho aap dono ka answer sang dhyan se dekhna dono ka answer it is returning 2 because yahan pe index 1 pe kya hai 2 yeah aur yahan pe bhi dekho agar maine bola tha whenever you add any value by default it start storing in the index so it will go to the 0 it will go to the 1 It will go to the. Are you getting my point? You want to see? Just see here. If I will write two, what is the output in this case, Gulam? Three. Three. So you can see. 
only the first difference you are able to see that in the array we are uh, the size was static so we can't store any value more than that but in the array we are free to do you want to see just copy do one thing copy and add one more element no 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 problem two if i will add just see it will add one more element no error getting my point is it okay yes okay now second question is that if in the array if you want to get the size of the array there is a keyword there was a keyword that is called length hai na and with the help of length you can get the number of elements in the array yes or no yes so same thing in case of array list i told you everything is described as a function so here the function name is size so when you call a function array list dot size it will return the size now see what is the size here क्या साइज प्रिंट हो रहा है यहाँ पे देखो लेंथ इसकी फाइव इसलिए हो रही है क्योंकि फाइव हो रही है लेंथ और यहाँ पे एरे का भी लेंथ कितना साइज कितना है हेयर वी कॉल इट साइज इज इट ओके नाउ दिस इज द गुड टाइम टू शो यू डिफरेंस बिटवीन द एरे लिस्ट इन द सेट व्हेन यू वांट टू स्टोर द सेट टाइप ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट हाउ यू कैन स्टोर लेट मी डू वन थिंग लेट मी रिमूव दिस पार्ट बिकॉज आई ऑलरेडी टोल यू डिफरेंस बिटवीन द एरे एंड यू कैन से दिस थिंग ओके लेट मी शो यू वन मोर डिफरेंस देन आई विल कम टू द सेट ओके हेयर यू सी If I want to store something like a r r zero equal to some numeric, uh, some string value, can I store it here? T w o. Can I store? It is giving error. Oh. So it is saying, you. yeah, it is saying that type mismatch cannot convert from string to int. Now int. do this. Now try to do the same thing with here. In this case, I am just going to replace two with two. Are you getting any error? No. no. So oh, it means by default in the uh, collections, in any type of collection, you can store any type of values. You can store hetero, no uh, heterogeneous values. Heteros means different type. Homogeneous means same type, same and way. heterogeneous means different type. Now you will see if I will say array list dot get, and if I will call the index part equal to two, still it will run two t w o two. You got the difference between the collection. Oh, sorry, two not one. Sorry, one one index for two index should be one, right? Second element. Yes or no? Yes. So you got the difference. I have shown you both the difference. Size is static, and you can store only same type of values here. Size is dynamic, and you can store any type of value. Is it okay? Yes. Okay. Now you will see. Uh, the here the thing is that you have a flexibility. You have a flexibility that you can. It is allow it allow to store multiple type of values means the heterogeneous, but you have a option that you can allow only homogeneous, and that's why it is giving a alert. Yeah, alert. Why they write? The thing is that it is giving alert because it is saying that you can store any type of value, but the best practice is that you should store homogeneous value. Now think about that in real life. Whenever you try to make, whenever you try to make any list, you always try to make a. You always try to make a homogeneous. Yes or no? आप ऐसे बोलते हो ना list word का. Whenever you use the term list, uh, I should uh, prepare a list of uh, kitchen items. I should prepare a list of my stationery item. You always try to give a unique name. Yes or no? Uh, it is saying that whenever you are talking about the kitchen items, so it means all the items related to the kitchen. So it is something like homogeneous. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, sir. so it provided you a flexibility that you can store multiple type of values but it suggests that uh, till the time it is really not uh, not needed don't try to create the homogeneous uh, heterogeneous always try to create homogeneous now you see if you want to restrict this collection with the homogeneous you can make a diamond operator and here you can define the type of data if you will make it int if you will make it int what will happen oh sorry in the collection you can't use the primitive type you have to use integer okay now when you use integer it means oh, you will see alert is gone from all the lines yellow color ka chala gaya yes you can say again see that when i am not using it are you able to see the orange color alerts yes or no yes sir and when i am using this one this concept is called raw type alert is gone it means what happens now now you have restricted you can store multiple elements but you have restricted the type of element now you can store only numeric element now you can see if you try to add here now to it will give you the error getting my point now it will not allow to store 
any other type is it okay so now you have a flexibility but you can do the you can restrict yourself is it okay yes okay now again i am showing you what is the size of array list what is the size of let me comment this thing array and now i will print the size of array and tell me what is the size of array list kya size hai five because five elements are there yes or no okay now i come to the second type of collection that is called set what is the use, what is the main quality of the set you can store the object we can ask for the object knowledge yes it always try to store the unique element okay so here i am saying that set or you can say my set so now again same thing i have to do new head set list is implemented with the help of array list and has is implemented with the help of a class that is called hash set same thing is there if you want to store the value here again this hash set class contains function with the name of hash getting my point theek hai chaliye ek kaam karte hain let me add same elements here let me add same elements here So I'm just giving my set. Everybody know here why we are getting the alert. हमे alert क्यों आ रहा है? Why are uh, getting the alert? Orange color, yellow color. Why we are getting? Because we are using, we are not restricting it for a particular data type. Getting my point? Yes. So we can and the, this is the quality of collection. This is the quality of collection. Then the whole collection you can store any type of value. so uh, if you want to don't restrict you don't use this concept otherwise you can use the concept of rot now tell me i am using the same elements here and same elements i am using here yes or no yes yes so now just see in this case what is the size of array list and what is the size in case of set just see and give me the answer what is the size of array list 5 but what is Five. the size of my set what is the reason i have tried to store i try to store five elements but internally it eliminates the duplicate one getting my point isne apne aap kya kar diya i have tried to store two value of two two times so it's ignore it getting my point yes okay now if you want to see the all the values which is available in the array list you can do one thing also you can simply Uh, print this array list object or reference and you will see it will show you the values also in are you able to see values here what is stored in the array list 5 2 3 2 6 but in the set it is showing 2 3 5 6 unique one yes or no is it okay yes sir gulam pail rabia ranjita already told me shruti is it okay Yes, yes, sir. Okay. So, what is the, again? I am telling you same thing that in the array list and the set only the difference is that array list contain the duplicate elements and set do not contain the duplicate. And in the Selenium, they have used this concept very, very powerful. उन्होंने इस कॉन्सेप्ट को बहुत अच्छा यूज़ किया है. So, whenever you will go to the interview, I will tell you that what they will ask you. Can you give me the example of real life of array list and set? I will give you the example from the Selenium. So, two things will be better. what is saying they will understand oh you know the real example of uh, array list and set second thing oh you know the selenium also that's why you are giving the example or you are putting the example or you are pulling the example from the selenium okay this is done so now in this way you can add the element and when you want to fetch the element you can fetch the element with the help of get method okay is it okay now you will see very interesting in the set that in the set if you want to fetch particular element you need a function dot get are you able to see any get function here no this is again very important question of the interview that array list contains the get method but set do not contain the get method set mein get method nahi hota hai and what is the reason if interview ask you simply tell him ki sir actually in the array list whenever you store the value it maintains the index wo maintain karta hai index zero pe hai fir one pe two pe is pe wo index maintain nahi kar sakta kyon nahi kar sakta because whenever you are passing any duplicate value is indexes 
ऑटोमेटिकली शफ हो क्योंकि देखो उसको स्टोर डुप्लीकेट करना है अब उसमें से वो या तो एक बार इसको कंसीडर करता है और या तो आपको लगता है कि यू हैव स्टोर सम वैल्यू एट इंडेक्स थ्री है ना यू आर सपोजिंग दैट इट विल स्टोर एट इंडेक्स थ्री आप स्टोर करने की कोशिश कर रहे हो बट इट विल स्टोरिंग एट इंडेक्स विच वैल्यू एट इंडेक्स थ्री सिक्स इसको तो क्या करता है इग्नोर कर गेटिंग माई पॉइंट सो यू कांट एक्सेस एनी थिंग विद द हेल्प ऑफ इंडेक्स आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट यस आर नो Yes. क्योंकि आपको आप यहाँ पे तो जो इंडेक्स आपको पता है यू हैव स्टोर द टू तो इट विल गो टू द इंडेक्स वन इट विल गो टू द इंडेक्स टू फोर लेकिन यहाँ पे तो जब आप इंडेक्स स्टोर करते नेक्स्ट टाइम इट चेक द डुप्लीकेट वैल्यू इफ द डुप्लीकेट वैल्यू इज देयर इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू स्टोर द वैल्यू सो इट विल असाइन दैट इंडेक्स टू द फर्दर अलाइनमेंट सो यू कांट श्योर दैट इफ यू ट्राई टू गेट सम वैल्यू फ्रॉम द इंडेक्स यू विल गेट द डिजायर वन और नॉट है ना आपको क्या लगेगा आपको लगेगा आप फोर इंडेक्स पे करोगे यू विल गेट टू But actually, what you will get at four index four six. six. Getting my point? So that's why they have not given any get function in the set. Now the question is that if set if get function is not there, so how we can access the element? अगर मुझे कोई element को access करना है तो कैसे करेंगे? So we can't uh, you can say access the element on the basis of index. We have to traverse the whole collection. हमको क्या करना पड़ता है इसमें से एक एक element को क्या करते हैं निकाल के हमें उसे fetch करना पड़ता है. So now the question is that how we can fetch it? हम उसको fetch कैसे कर सकते हैं? So for that thing, a special loop which I have not told you at the time of loop concept was introduced, and that was called for each loop. क्या बोलते हैं उसको? For each. Loop. So actually the syntax, the in the syntax we use the keyword for, but the syntax is little bit different. How many parts for was divided? Traditional for loop was divided in three parts. Yes or no? याद है किसी को? Yes, yes. But in the for yes, each But in the for each loop, it is divided with the help of colon into two parts. ये colon के help से कितने part में divide होता है? Two parts. Right side part, but you have to do whatever collection you want to, whatever collection you want to iterate or you want to read. जिस पे आपको अपनी traversing करनी है, एक ही तरके उसको उसमें अपने जाके you have to read the value. Here you give the name of collection. And if you want to access the set, you just give the set reference variable. If you want to access the array list, तो यहाँ पे क्या दे दो? Array list. Getting my point? Now, what you give the left side of this colon? What happens that when it will create a loop? When it will create a loop, so it will go one by one to the each and every element of the collection. पहले पांच पे जाएगा, फिर दो पे, फिर तीन पे, फिर दो पे, फिर छः पे. So whenever it will go, how you can, if you want to read the value, how you can read the value? You need to create a, you need to create a variable here. आपको एक temporary variable बनाना है. Current element. Are you getting my point? तो राइट साइड में यू हैव टू गिव द नेम ऑफ द कलेक्शन एंड हेयर यू हैव टू डिक्लेयर अ एलिमेंट अपने वट एवर इट विल हैपन जब भी द लूप विल रन ऑन दिस एरे लिस्ट वन बाय वन इट विल स्टोर द वैल्यू इन द करेंट एलिमेंट हर बार इन एवरी आइट्रेशन पहली बार चलेगा सो करेंट एलिमेंट विल स्टोर द वैल्यू ऑफ फर्स्ट देन सेकेंड एंड थर्ड यू वॉन्ट टू सी जस्ट डू वन थिंग जस्ट मेक एस ओ पी यहाँ पे एस ओ पी करो एंड दस पुट द वैल्यू करेंट एलिमेंट सो लेट मी डू वन थिंग लेट मी कमेंट आउट दिस वन and comment out this one so that you can see aap dekh rahe hain isko value kaise print kar raha hai and what values it is printing it is printing the value 52326 yes so anybody have any doubt again i'm telling you the syntax of for this is called for each we don't use the for each loop but the concept is for each loop means this loop will run this loop already run for each element of this collection ये लूप इस कलेक्शन के अंदर जितने भी एलिमेंट है उनके लिए वन बाय वन अपने हाथ चलेगा आपको कुछ नहीं करना है एंड वेन एवर दिस लूप विल रन फॉर ईच एंड एवरी एलिमेंट फॉर दिस कलेक्शन वन बाय वन इट स्टोर द वैल्यू इन दिस एलिमेंट सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू समू कैन से ऑपरेशन यू कैन डू इट आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट ठीक है So I will give you the example also. I will give you the example that that whenever you want to perform any operation, like for example, can anybody tell me I want to get the sum of all elements? मुझे सारे elements का sum चाहिए था. How you can do? How you can perform here? Tell me. I will do one thing. I will take a variable total. Is it okay? Yes. क्या लोगा मैं? I will declare a variable total equal to zero, and in this, in this, what I have to do? Simple. I have to do one thing. I will do one thing. What I will do? Total equal to total plus element. 
Why I'm writing this thing? Because you are making a sum, or you can say you can give the variable here sum, and in the do what you have to do sum equal to sum plus current element. Are you getting my point? Why I'm doing this thing? This is the logical part. Just think about that. When this element, when this loop will run first time, जब ये loop पहली बार चलेगा, when this loop will run first time, what it will do? Tell me. ये क्या करेगा? The value of sum is zero. Zero plus what is current element? Two five. When this will run, what will be the final value? What will be the final value of sum? Ranjita, you are getting. Ranjita, you are getting. No, sir. Okay, you can tell me. Don't worry. If you don't, know, if you are not getting, you can tell me. I will repeat again. Okay. What I am doing here in this loop, for each loop, I told you this is called for each loop. And what is the purpose of for each loop? That in the after colon, you just define the collection. Okay. You define the collection. So when you define the collection array list, so automatically this loop, how many times this loop run? The number of elements available in the collection. Is it okay, Ranjita? Yes, sir. This loop will automatically run. On the basis of number elements stored in the collection, so it means if contains five elements, this will run five times. Okay, so every time when it will run in every iteration, that is called for first time when it will run, it will store the first value in the current element. In the current element variable, it will store the first value like five. In the second iteration, it will store the value two, then three, then two, and then six. Is it okay, Ranjita? Yes, sir. So now I have given you the assignment that I want to get the total of all the elements stored in the collection. So here you will see, uh, I have taken a to a number. I have taken a variable sum. So the purpose of this variable to store the uh, total number of you uh, sum of all the numbers. So now tell me one thing: when the loop go to init, when the first time loop will run, what will be the value of current element? Tell me, Ranjita. Five. Five. Very good. So now the value of current is five element. So now come to here. What is the current value of sum? That is initially zero. zero. So zero plus five, it become five. five. So five. I have stored the value in the sum. Many kya kya what I've done? I have stored the value sum that was initially zero, current element five. Now the when combining together, it become five. So I have stored five in the sum. Get my point? Yes or no? Yes, sir. So what is the when this was run first time, the value of sum become five. Now, when it will run second time, what will be the value of current element? Two. Two. So now here you see, the sum is already five, right? And current element is two. So now the value become seven. seven. Get my point? Yes, sir. So in every iteration, what you are doing, you are storing the value. You are adding the current element in the sum, and you are assigning sum equal to something like that. It means it is keep on adding the number. So again, it will go to the Third iteration, the value of current element three and three plus seven, ten, and it will add it in the sum. So it means when this loop will be completed, and if we will try to print the value of sum after this loop, it will be the sum of numbers. Is it okay? Yes or no? Yes, sir. And you can see here. I can show you this thing here. Yes or no? Yes, yes or no? You can you can calculate. Ah, you are trying to calculate, Ranjita. You can calculate five to seven, seven three ten, ten to twelve, twelve six, eighteen. Is it okay? Yes, sir. So in the same way, I told you this is not a for each loop, which is only used for the arrays. You can use for my you for use for set also. Copy this set. If I'm putting it set here, so now this time this whole or uh, you can see for each loop will iterate on the my set. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, sir. So at this time, it will run the loop on the my set. So it will fetch the values from set. But tell me, how many values are stored in the set? Two will be not added there. Oh. Yes or no? Set is only one time. So this loop will run how many times? One, two, three, four times. Four times. And when it one run the four time, same thing will happen. First time it will store the current element five, five plus sum zero is uh, sum is zero zero plus five. Then it will go to the two seven. When it will go to the three ten, because it is not duplicate, it was not stored there, so it automatically come to the six. So you can see this time what is the value printed? Very good. So you you got it, Sir Anjita. Everybody, 
Yes. I, I'm, I'm, trust me, how I'm explaining, you will see nobody is going to explain you. Just like one by one step. So you got it? You got it that how we can use the forest loop to store or you can say yes. I take the back. Yes. Okay, so so this for is loop is specially designed. So in the add function, keep on mind that in the array list you have a get function, but in the set you don't have. So whenever you want to fetch element, you have to make a loop on that. And when you find element, you can make any operation. Like somebody asks you that, uh, tell me that element six available in the array list or not. Or you can say you have to check whether element six is available in the set or not. So how you can check? Simply tell me. One by one, you can iterate the things and you can check. What you can check? If current element equal equal to six, then you print a value, yes or no. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So actually the thing is that main concept is that in the for each loop, you put the collection part here and in this element, you can store the element. So whatever you want to do with this element, you can do any type of logic. Is it okay? Is it okay? Okay, sir. Now, yes, now here uh, in the collection part, one important thing is also if we talk about the collection of array list or we talk about the collection of hazard. I have already told you about the concept of inheritance. In the in the concept of inheritance, there was a concept that you can create the object of a child and create the reference of a parent. Yes or no? Aapko maine bataya tha na ki aap object bana sakte ho kiska? You can create the object of a child and if there is a parent available, you can create the reference of a parent. Is it okay? Yes. So, yahan pe, how we are going to uh, uh, show? How are, I'm going to show you? Array list is a class which is actually a you can say class, and there is a parent of this class. Is class ka ek parent hota hai. And what is the name of that parent? List. So, yahan pe you will see instead of creating the reference type array list, I make it list. I can make it. Is it okay? List. Yes. So, and you will see, and you will see when I will do it. There is no difference. Still, you will get the same answer. And in the same way, who is the parent of has set? Only set. Set. So why I'm telling you that I, I told you previously also, this is the best way. You are not using any other type of child of array. Uh, you can say list. List ke bahut sare child hote hai. Array list. Thik hai? A link list. But the thing is that you are not going to use other type of array list. But it is the best practice that if there is a parent available in the in the hierarchy, you should always create the reference of a type parent and the object type of child. It is best practice. Getting my point? You want to see? I have changed the parent of head set to the set. Still, you will say answer will be same. You can see. Answer is same. Yes or no? 16. Getting my point? Yes. Okay. It is printing this value. That's why you are a little bit confused. You guys are. Otherwise, still in case of my set, it is giving the sum of 16. 16. Is it okay? Yes. Uh, doubt but clear for each loop, we set basically design to get the data, right? To get array list, we can get use but set we can get use so we for each Haan, especially for is what designed for you can say collection. Ki collection ke liye hi banata. Ab collection mein they have designed in such way ki aap chaho to usko array list ke liye bhi use karte. You can use Haan, for bata. the array list. But it is in case of set, it is a limitation. You can't access without it. Hai na? Okay. So now the third type of collection which is left that is called map. So I'm going to tell you that also here. So let me do one thing in case of that. Let me create a separate class. It will be good. The third type of collection is known as map. Third type of collection is called map. And now the thing is that how map is work. Actually, sometime you will see that in the few articles you will see, not few, most of the article you will see actually map is not a part of collection. They will see that map is not a part of collection directly, but indirectly they, it is treated as a part of collection. But like indirectly map collection ka part nahi ho. Okay. Chari. How map is defined? So now tell me one thing here. Whenever you are storing here values, just see here, you are trying to store some values. 5, 2, 3, 2, 6. Yes or no? You are trying to store some value. I'm showing you one interesting thing. You can do one thing. Uh, can you tell me? I will try to store some values here. 5, 2000. Here I'm storing, suppose take the example 30. Here I'm trying to store some value like. Uh, 
six, something like that. Okay. Now here you will see, I'm storing some values. Yes or no? Five, 2,000, 30, yes. 2N, something like that. Like, uh, it is, it is 60 lakh. Okay. So I'm storing some value. Now tell me, when I'm storing some value, anybody can tell me why I'm storing this value. What is the purpose? It is, this data is presenting the ID of any person. This is presenting any, uh, you can say, any house number. This is presenting any age and this is presenting the salary. The data can be, it is only showing the value. It is not showing the, what is the purpose of this value? Yes or no? Yes. So it is something like that you can see. If you want to present it, if you want to present it in your program that what is the purpose of this value, you can modify the program in this way. How? I will show you. You can say, uh, you will take a variable int ID and you will store the value five. Yes or no? And then instead of you storing the five directly, you can put it ID. Yes or no? Yes or no? Aap kya yes. kar rahe ho? Pe instead of storing the value, you have created a reference wherever ID. Aapne banaya, then you store the ID here. So the, what is the benefit here? You are saying that I'm storing the value. I, I'm storing the uh, reference variable ID means whatever is stored here. If somebody want to change the value, it will become eight. So what will you store in that list? Eight. Yes or no? Oh, is maybe change kar sakte hai, na? Haan, change kar the thing is that only the difference is that aapko abhi tak pe maine direct five likha tha. so you are not getting the what is the purpose of that value it was presenting id salary something like that but when i will store the value here id equal to five and then i am storing id so aapko pata hai ki pe kya ho hai? Kya store kar hai? five but five is id yes or no okay you are, like we are giving some reference ID. Like yes, yes, you ID, are some... hum string we save karna chahe, to in this uh, string name that can save kar sakte, yes, kind of and Yes, actually, and also you are defining the type of data. Aap ye bhi to bata ho ki what is the type? Is five ka matlab kya hai? It is the ID of any person, right? Uh, take the example. In the, in the, you can take the example if you want to store this one. If you are storing something like that, instead of that, you can say S A L A R Y salary. Ab salary, then you can put it here, control X, put it here. And is here you can give the variable salary. So, aapko kya pata lega? In the array list, you are storing the salary. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, no. so in the same way you can see here, let me take the example of only three, three example I'm taking. If you want to store the 30, suppose what it is presenting, if it is presenting the age, so you can say age equal to 30. And then you can say here age. Yes or no? So now you can say in this collection, you have stored three values. One is ID, age and salary. You are not saying that you are storing five, six lakhs and 30. You are saying I'm the storing the values. ID, age and salary. Yes or no? Salary. Yeah. So aap dekho, actually indirectly you are storing the values. Uh, whenever you are giving the reference ID, it is basically storing the five. When you are saying age, it is storing 30. When you are saying salary, it is storing 60 lakh. Yes or no? Yes. So in the collection you are giving, but the thing is that your declaration part is something like that here and here you are just giving the reference to show if you want to store both the things in the collection agar main is collection ko print karo, just try to print the collection what information you will get you will get the information only about the data values pe aapko dekho, when i will run this thing kya dekh hai? In, what is this printing 5 30 and 60 lakh yes or no yes isko print karte vak, are you able to see that what is salary what is age and what is id no. This is print karte bag, aapko pata chal hai, se kaun si age hai, kaun no. si hai. Now, yeah. to get rid of this type of problem, that whenever you want to store the type of reference as well as value, you want to store both the things in your collection, a collection comes into the picture that is called map. Ab dekho, map mein kaise the type of map is implemented with the help of hash map. So, hash map, mein you will see whenever you want to store, uh, you can say implement the hash map. Let me write a reference variable, create first of all, new hash map. So in the hash map, actually what you have to do, you have to define two things. First thing is known as key or you can say variable and second is its value. Getting my point? So now tell me one thing. Here, suppose you want to give this reference variable. What type of data, uh, reference variable you are giving? ID salary. So here you can say that, say, first type is a string. Getting my point? Aap reference variable ka naam ID rakhoge. ID is alphanumeric. Yes or no? And the value is integer. Getting my point? Yes, sir. 
तो इन दिस वे यू कैन सी नाउ इन दिस कलेक्शन यू कैन स्टोर बोथ द वैल्यूज देखो कैसे माई मैप डॉट एंड हेयर द फंक्शन नेम इज नोन एज पुट पुट इज एक्सपेक्टिंग टू की एंड वैल्यू यस नो यस तो यहाँ पे देखो फायदा क्या है आप पहले डबल कोर्स में लिखोगे कि आईडी फिर इसकी वैल्यू दिस इज द बेनिफिट सो हियर यू आर राइटिंग आईडी एंड फाइव गेटिंग माय पॉइंट यस तो देखो ऐसे डेटा आपके लिए कितना हाउ द डेटा इज मीनिंग फॉर यू यू आर नॉट क्रिएटिंग अ सेपरेट यू कैन से रेफरेंस वेरेबल की इज ऑल्सो नोन एज रेफरेंस की को भी क्या बोल सकते हैं आप मान सकते हो कि समथिंग लाइक ए प्रॉपर्टी और रेफरेंस वेरेबल सैलरी एंड हेयर यू कैन स्टोर द दिस वैल्यू Is it okay? Yes. And here you can write the eight. So, in one collection, you store both the things. Whenever you are putting the information, you are not only storing the value; you are storing the actually type of that value. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, yes. Now, when I print this value, you will see what will print. I am printing. I am printing. And this time, you will be surprised that it will print the value as huh? well as their purpose. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh, what it is printing? ID equal to five, salary equal to sixty lakh, and is equal to five. It is more meaningful, yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. So now that's why it is treated as it is not a directly part of collection because it is actually industry. It is storing the key and its value. And what is the again second benefit of that? Okay. So what is the second benefit of that? Uh, suppose take the example. You are trying to put the same variable again. Now tell me one thing. अगर आप यहाँ पे दोबारा id equal to if you try to do id equal to six, so it will create another variable or it will reassign the value from five to six. Override. Yes or no? अगर मैं ऐसा करूँ तो क्या होगा? Here you declare a variable five when you are writing this line. So now the thing is variable is same. Now the value is overwritten from five to six. So same thing happen here. Let me show you. It is printing. What values it is printing? It is printing ID five, salary sixty lakh, and this one. Ah, uh, will this uh, Rabia is uh, Rabia asking? Will this take different type of variables like int string together in hash? Yes, you can take. You can take if you are not defining the raw type. You are. You can take it. Okay. So if you are not defining, you can take it. For example, just remove this part. Are you getting my point? Are you getting my point, Rabia? So, Rabia, here you can see if you want to put the key type as a some other data, like your key is also your variable should be in the form of numeric. You can do it like this one. Just see here. आप क्या कर रहे हो आपने इसको रॉ टाइप नहीं दिया तो इस वैल्यू को भी आप क्या रख सकते हो यू डोंट नीड टू पास वेरिएबल एज ए स्ट्रिंग यू कैन मेक इट समथिंग लाइक दैट एट गेटिंग माय पॉइंट एंड द वैल्यू इज थर्टी सो योर की इज की इज एट एंड वैल्यू इज थर्टी एक्चुअली इट इज यूजलेस है ना वेरेबल का जो प्रॉपर्टी का नाम होना चाहिए दैट शुड बी अ मीनिंगफुल यस और नो Rabia, you are getting yeah, Rabia. So this is the, actually you can do one thing. So if you don't want to use this thing, that you can use any variable like ah, uh, you have any variable ka naam nobody will like to give the variable name eight, nine, ten. है ना ये meaningful नहीं है. अब आप eight से क्या पता करोगे? क्या ये क्या है? Okay. So that's why it is recommended you should use the here generic type and then you can write. Okay. Now second thing, if in the program after some time you will try to write this code id equal to six. So it will not create any new reference variable. Still, how many data is available in the map? Three. Three data is available: ID, age, and salary. Only the thing is that whatever value stored five in the ID, now it will be overridden by six. You will see it is printing five. Let me read another time. What value you are able to see? Six. Yes or no? Ranjita, you are able to see? Yes, sir. ठीक है, so it means the what is the again beauty of the map that map do not allowed duplicate keys. Duplicate क्या नहीं allow करता है? Duplicate keys it do not allow, but it allows duplicate values. अच्छा id की value भी five रख दो और age की value five रख दो, it is possible. But the keys will be not duplicate. Keys means you can't create two reference variable like id salary with same name two times. Getting my point? देखो मैंने यहाँ पे id five लिखा, यहाँ पे id six लिखा. But how many times it was stored? Once. Getting my point? Haji, yes or no? Yes, sir. 
So now as you store the value with the help of key and value, there is a you can say method that is given to you to fetch the value. अब आपको जब value fetch करनी पड़ती है, you do. आप देखो what happens that in your case, whenever you want to fetch the value, आपको इस value को fetch करना है. तो आप किस value को fetch करते हो? ID को. If you want to fetch the value six, अगर आपको देखना six store है, तो आप क्या लिखते हो SOP में? Whenever you have created a variable, you write ID. Yes or no? है ना? Whatever value will be stored in the ID, that will be printed. Yes or no? Yes. So in case of map, there is a method that is called map dot get. Or get me kya mangta hai? It always expect the key. Aap isse key de do, ye uski value print kare. Key means whatever you have given in the key. You want to print the salary. In the get method, pass the salary keyword. And you will see when I will run, it will return salary value. Getting my point? Haji, yes or no? Yes. So this is again very very used in the Selenium. These three collections are very used: array list, set, and map. Okay. And what is the best uh, use of this collection? Uh, if you want to store some test data in your program, अगर आप कोई test data use करना चाहो, आसान है कि नहीं? Yes or no? आप किसी का name, age, salary, first name, username, password. You can store yes or no? Yes. So now the thing is, if you want to store a username, only the limitation is that your data type should be string and aapko pata hai, it can be a string value. So you should define the value type also. Yes or no? Yes or no? Now you will make a key username and the uh, username you will like. Pradeep Nailwal 55 at the rate gmail.com. Yes or no? Because I need this thing, that's why I've given the type of value equal to string. हमको numeric नहीं चाहिए. Yes or no? Yes. है ना? तो अब देखो. Now the thing is that now because you have given a string, you can store everything like a. तो इसका purpose हम क्या करते हैं? We use in the Selenium to store test data also. So here I'm giving password equal to something like that. Suppose P2. Is it okay? Getting my point? Yes. Yes. Now. Okay. Okay, now the thing is, what is the benefit of string? I told you about the string also that string is a data type which can store in the store numeric uh, numeric values also, but in the form of string. String के अंदर अगर आप देखो अगर पांच store करना है मैं कर सकता हूँ कैसे? आप पांच numeric की तरह store नहीं कर सकते लेकिन अगर मैं double quotes में दे दूँ yes or no? So still it is a value five but treated as a string. So whenever you want to make a arithmetic calculation, we can convert it at in the numeric form. हमारे पास जावा में एक utility होती है जिससे हम क्या करते हैं किसी भी string value को हम numeric में convert कर सकते हैं. We can convert any numeric value in the any string value in the numeric. But the condition is that that should have the capability to change. अगर मैं इसको पांच को change करूँगा string को numeric में हो जाएगी. लेकिन क्या P2 हो पाएगी? P2 हो पाएगी. P P P is the alphabet. P can be converted in the numeric? No. So, we have a utility, there is a function which can convert the string into the numeric. But the string should be a converted eligible. What do you need to convert it? You can do eligible. Five, you can do six. You can convert it in the numeric. No. So, the best thing is that whenever you are making a map type, always try to make a string and string because string can hold any type of value. Now, suppose I want to add the age equal to decimal 5.5 because this 5.5 is treated as a string. Yes or no? And we have a utility in the Java. If you have some string in the form of decimal, you can convert into the actual decimal. Getting my point? So I hope you got the benefit of, you can say, you got the benefit of map that you can store any type of values in the form of key and value pair. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, yes. So now whenever you want to add any value, you use the put method. Whenever you want to get some value, you use the get method. Okay. Now you will see again the question is that if you want to iterate every element. So how you can iterate it here? You will see very beautiful thing here. Agar mein yaan likhtao for each loop. So dhyan se dekhna. Here you will see one thing here. Actually map is also stored the value in the form of key value pair. So yaan index to ho nahi sakta. Yes or no? Index to ho nahi sakta. Yes or no? Yes. Ab index to ki because now the thing is that this for each loop is actually eligible for 
collection only. Getting my point? It is eligible for collection only. I have told you that map is actually not directly the part of collection. अब collection का part नहीं है तो मैं ऐसे तो लिख नहीं सकता देखो. और it is very tough बताता हूँ क्यों. देखो अगर मैं यहाँ पे collection map लिख देता. If I am, if Java allowed me to write the collection map, यहाँ पे क्या लिखते आप? इसका कोई type लिख सकते हो single data type. लिख सकते हो because data is actually stored in the two things two values are storing so can is there any data type जो दो तरह की value को store कर सके कोई data type है ऐसा are you getting my point when it is returning the map it is returning the values it is returning the data in the pair e value तो यहाँ पे कोई ऐसा data type है जिसमें दोनों चीज store हो सके नहीं you can at a time create the string इंटीजर लेकिन क्या आप ऐसे देखो लेट मी शो यू अगेन जब मैं इनको वैन एवर आई एम प्रिंटिंग दिस वैल्यू इट इज प्रिंटिंग द वैल्यू इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पेयर ध्यान से देखना तो जब एक बार चलेगा तो उसकी ये वैल्यू एक बार में पेयर में सेव होनी चाहिए एक एलिमेंट में करंट एलिमेंट वेन आई विल ट्राई टू रन दिस थिंग सो दिस करंट एलिमेंट शुड स्टोर द वन डेटा यस ऑन नो अब नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज दैट आप मुझे बताओ इसके अंदर दो वैल्यूज है कि इक्वल टू वैल्यू क्या कोई ऐसा डेटा टाइप है जो उसको स्टोर कर सकता बिकॉज इट इज नॉट अ सिंगल वैल्यू यस नो तो इसीलिए नाउ द थिंग इज दैट इन केस ऑफ मैप डायरेक्टली यू कैन नॉट यूज द फॉर इच लेकिन फॉर इच लूप नहीं यूज कर सकते तो कैसे करेंगे फॉर इच लूप वी कैन यूज बट बाय अ पर्टिकुलर वे कैसे तो इसको समझने फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस कॉन्सेप्ट दैट हाउ मैप स्टोर द वैल्यू मैप इज एक्चुअली डिफाइंड इन टू द टू पार्ट दिस इज कॉल्ड की दिस इज कॉल्ड वैल्यूज गेटिंग माई पॉइंट and this whole data is known as this one set is known as entry set kya bolte hai isko entry set so when you call a method my map contains few methods one is called entry set dekho jab likhoge when you write entry set when you write some entry set dekho kya print karega i am running it just see what it is printing it is printing the same thing yes or no so it is printing both the thing now there is a function that is called very important he said to ye kya karta hai keval kya return karta hai uski keys it will return only the keys so how many keys are there username id age and password yes or no these are the keys yes yes ab aap mujhe batao it is returning the key set and what is the return type of key set set key set is written in the form of set yes or no yes तो आप मुझे क्या बताओ कि क्या मैं फॉर इच लूप सेट पे चला सकता हूं कि नहीं बताओ इट इज रिटर्निंग की सेट सो कैन आई रन माई लूप ऑन दिस की सेट यस नो एंड एवरी टाइम आई कैन टेक अ स्ट्रिंग वेरेबल बिकॉज माई की इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्ट्रिंग ये स्ट्रिंग है तो आई कैन टेक इट इन द स्ट्रिंग फॉर्मेट यस और नो अब देखो मैं आपको ट्रिक बता रहा हूं नाउ इफ आई राइट एस अगर मैं यहाँ पे एक एस लिख दू ध्यान से देखना If I'm writing SOP here, okay, and in SOP, if I write current element, so current element, what print will be? What will be? What it will print? Tell me. ID. Yes, ki it is printing yes. the keys. Yes or no? Yes. Ab dekho, main aapko chalaki batata hu. I will give you clever thing. If you want to print the every value, use this for each loop. But here, instead of current element, is a key na. So, aap map ka you can use a function my map. Dot get and what you can pass it here, the key which you are getting in the loop, yes or no? Yes. So in this loop, actually you have make a trick that in the SOP you are calling my map dot get and get element current element you are getting in the loop. So actually indirectly you printed all the values, yes or no? Who is not getting this thing? Ranjita, you are getting. Sir, can you please repeat once again? नहीं 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 मैं मत नहीं बताऊंगा. नहीं बताऊंगा मैं आपको तो नहीं बताऊंगा. आप वैसे नहीं आंदोलन पर आए. One thing is not getting is why is not display the key value. Display the key value, right? Ah, I am just saying because I told you that you can ask me any time. I will never be frustrated. Okay. You can ask me any time. Okay. Here I am saying this this thing that what happens that in map. There is no concept used for the collection. Map is not directly a part of collection. So map actually stored the value in the form of key and value pair. Getting my point? Yes, But it it is actually stored the it is stored the whole thing in two parts. 
they store the keys separately and they store the values separately okay and then they on the basis of key they store the value so i make a trick i can make a loop on the key set key set part okay getting my point so i will get all the keys here are you getting my point yes sir so if i will make a loop on the key set i can get all the keys here you can do in this way maybe you will understand more thing aap kya karo try to understand this in function map sorry my map my map contains a function dot key set so what is the return type of this key set function set yes or no yes sir and now so what is the return type of this function key in the form of set so you can do one thing just call this function and store in a set type of reference variable set and what this set is presenting is of a string so you can actually create a, 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 a reference something like that that you have is written the type of this method in a form of variable and these are map keys yes or no yes, can i write this thing whenever you are calling this function whenever you are calling this function key set it is returning all the keys available in the map and you have stored in the map keys function is it okay variable yes or no yes sir so now because this map keys is actually a collection you can make a loop on this map keys yes or no yes so when you run a loop on map keys one by one 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 by one every key will be stored in the current element so you got every key for the map yes or no yes so instead of printing this current element key in your sop function you have called the function my map dot get and what you need to pass it here key and which you are getting in the loop so when you pass it here actually in the loop it's printed all the values oh, what have done okay i have used two times this one okay so let me run it it's working yes sir so the trick is that in case of map you cannot directly print the values first of all you try to get the key set in the set collection when you get the keys make a loop on the keys and in the function you can call my map dot get function to fetch the value and whatever you are getting the keys in the loop just pass it sir i have another doubt sir it's not possible to uh, print both key and value at the time yes yes the thing that if you want to like the two things are there if you want to print the set then there is no problem reason is that you can call a function simply you don't need to make a loop for that right because the, the thing is that you can say my map dot key set yes or no i'm asking in the for each loop sir It's okay you possible. can do yeah that is possible simply you can do one thing just try to print the both value something like that first of all make a sop of current element current element means is key yes or no yes sir and in the second line you are printing my map dot get current key so this is key and this is its value getting my point so aapne when you are printing the key it is actually your key current element is key yes or no yes sir and when you are passing this current element key in the my map dot get you are getting the value yes or no so in this way if you want to print the value and key both can print it here just see here getting my point yes or no yes sir so that why that trick i was telling you yeah बिकॉज यू आस्ट मी टू प्रिंट दी सो आई प्रिंटेड क्रिस की and the second like the second line i printed the value but if you want to get this value you don't need to write this code right you can simply write this one sop what you can write it here map dot key set map key set already provide everything yes or no agar aapko yes, dono print kar what is the use of this for each loop sir so the purpose of for each loop is to uh, get the only the values okay so now the thing is that the purpose of this match loop is that here in the map dot key set it is printing the you can say only the keys okay when you want to print the key and value separately you need a for each agar aapko dono alag alag print karne hain then you need it getting my point 
yes sir okay so this is the purpose of you can say uh you can say when you want to so this is all about the you can say map also same thing is also applies for the map that if you want to use the parent of this hash map as a reference you can use who is the parent of hash map only map getting my point yes sir okay so today i'm going to cover only this topic okay so so that you can revise all the other things also and i will give you few assignment on this collection also is it okay so this is all about your collections so please revise and yeah. then you come to tomorrow okay so tomorrow i will do two things one thing is that i will give you uh, you can say i will give you uh, uh, remaining topics i will cover you and second thing is that uh, any any doubt you have from the java you can ask me so you have today whole day that you can revise all your previous sessions and come to me that pradeep still i have a doubt on this so i will cover that but please utilize this thing getting my point yes yes okay yes, so i can cover the topic today also but the thing is the best part you will say i can for the time being i can just show you that everything is covered in java or not you can tell me if anything is not covered okay aap mujhe bata sakte ho so who is going to tell me aap uh, one by one who is going to read and tell me that what is covered or not from here इंटरफेसुलेशन covered java collection list set map covered exception uh exception mein humne check the uh, check the exception padha hai we covered arithmetic exception uh, uh, uh we have covered the check exception unchecked exception also yeah. and only one is that is called error right? error so error huh. the thing is that we don't learn the error only i will tell you that is the something theoretical part uh exception is something like that which we can handle error is something like that which cannot handle Are you getting my point? Uh, take yes. the example of error. What happens that if you have created a program where it is taking so much memory, है ना? So you cannot control it. अगर आपने memory बहुत ज़्यादा कर दिया, so you will uh, always get a error that is called out of memory. और error को आप control नहीं कर सकते. Getting my point? Yes. I can give you another type of example. If you are running your pro system, if you are running as your system, suppose take the example. You are not connected to any battery or you are not connected to any CPU. Uh, you can say uh, CPU, uh, not CPU. What you will say? UP, your UPS. UPS. You know, UPS. Uh, anybody know? Uh, maybe you are the young guys. Maybe you do not know. But previously we use a, a device that is called UPS. UPS. Uninterrupted power supply. It is something like the inverter. Battery की तरह होता था. तो हमारे क्या होगा? When you are running your system. At when you are running your system, at the time what is happening, your light is gone, and you are not. So your program, your system will be shut down. Yes or no? आप उसे handle कर सकते हो? नहीं. Getting my point? Are you getting my point? Yes, yes. ठीक है. So error is a thing that which you cannot handle. एरर को कभी हैंडल नहीं कर सकते ओनली यू कैन राइट अ प्रोग्राम और यू कैन मेक योर सिस्टम इन सच अ वे दैट एरर डू नॉट कम गेटिंग माय पॉइंट तो आपका एग्जांपल आप मुझे बताओ अगर उसका एग्जांपल आई हैव गिवन यू द एग्जांपल व्हेनेवर यू आर राइटिंग अ प्रोग्राम इन योर सिस्टम आपका कभी अचानक सिस्टम बंद ना हो तो व्हाट यू कैन डू यू कैन अटैच अ यूपीएस यू कैन टेक अ बैकअप यही तो कर सकते हो लेकिन अगर ये सब नहीं हुआ तो क्या प्रोग्राम से कंट्रोल कर सकते हो नहीं यस और नो नहीं तो हम कभी एरर को कंट्रोल नहीं कर सकते देर इज अनदर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एरर दैट इज फॉल्ड उसको क्या बोलते हैं आई डोंट नो व्हाट वी कॉल्ड इन द भूकंप इन इंग्लिश व्हाट आई जस्ट फॉरगेट क्या बोलते हैं अर्थक्वेक अर्थक्वेक एक्सीडेंट यू आर यू आर जस्ट क्रिएटिंग अ प्रोग्राम इन योर सिस्टम उसी समय अर्थक्वेक आ गया आपका सिस्टम सिस्टम सब बंद हो गया सब गिर गया टूट गया यू कांट हैंडल इट यस और नो तो एरर इज समथिंग लाइक दैट व्हिच यू कैन नॉट टेक रन टाइम थिंग्स आप उसके लिए कुछ कर नहीं सकते यू कैन मेक ए प्रिकॉशन अच्छा एरर को अगर भूकंप से बचने के लिए अर्थपैक यू वॉन्ट टू सेव फ्रॉम द अर्थपैक क्या करोगे आप ऐसी बिल्डिंग में बैठो ना जिसमें अर्थपैक का इफेक्ट ना हो यस और नो यस और नो 
yes. so basically in the simple world you can say exceptions are the things that are, can be handled but error are the things that cannot be handled error se bachne ke liye aapko program hi ko aise likhna hai that it should not give that what why we give the example of out of memory error agar apne program mein you have written a program in such a way that you are keep on creating the objects and you are not uh, making the memory release after the use to ek samay baad kya hoga aapka program kya hoga itni memory occupy kar lega that your your memory or your program will be your program or memory or you can say eclipse will be hanged getting my point yes तो yes. आप इसको इसीलिए यू विल सी देर इज अंसेप्ट ऑफ एक्सेप्शन हैंडलिंग कहीं पे भी आपने पढ़ा है एरर हैंडलिंग नहीं एरर देर इज नो एरर हैंडलिंग देर इज एरर प्रिकॉशन गेटिंग माई पॉइंट सो नाउ नाउ द थिंग इज दैट यू कैन से शी हैज जस्ट रीड ऑल द टॉपिक्स हेयर सो इट मीन्स टूमारो स्टिल आई विल चेक दैट इफ यू थिंग्स आर पेंडिंग आई विल आई विल टेल यू अबाउट दैट अदरवाइज वी विल स्टार्ट द सिलेनियम फॉर इज इट ओके यस so now it totally depends on you guys that you want to uh, you can say utilize my time for your java questions or not if you will ask i will give the answer otherwise i jumped into the selenium so ye dekho aap pe depend karta hai don't blame on me we have not given one extra session for the queries agar aap query puchoge nahi to main to chal lunga next topic pe ranjita is it okay that if you, are, if, you guys, if you guys are not going to ask any question definitely i should go with the next topic and that is selenium is it okay fair enough Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm binding for a session for the day, and hope you will revise the session. I will upload this session as soon as possible. Okay, please do not revise only this topic. Try to revise all the previous session and come to me. Is it okay? Okay, sir. Thank you. Have a nice day. Have a good day. Thank, thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Bye.